Welcome to the show, Madam Speaker. Thank you so much, Sonia, for inviting me, and I want to extend my greetings to the viewers. You've already had your baptism by fire in the first parliament session, and you impressed many by how well you handled it. Thank you so much. What's the biggest lesson you've learned for the next parliament session? Well, to retain my calm and to, to practice tightrope walking. Each speaker has their own distinctive style, and you have a very different style from your predecessor, Somnath Chatterjee. What do you think is going to be the Meera Kumar stamp on, uh, as speaker on parliament? Well, I would like to be known for having increased the days of the sittings. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the moment, the maximum we have reached is 80, 80 sittings. I would like to increase it. I think that's something every Indian would want. And in fact, we've had so many questions come in on exactly that issue because we know that every time there's an adjournment, lacks of taxpayers' money is wasted. And I'd like to just read some of the questions that have come in on our website. Bharat has written in from Chennai. He said, if we do not have enough attendance in schools and colleges, we are not allowed to sit in exams. Shouldn't it be the same in politics? If MPs don't have minimum attendance in parliament, why should they be allowed to fight the next election? Also, Arjun Ram Kumar has written in from Sheffield in the United Kingdom. He says, congratulations on becoming India's first woman speaker. When do you think there will be healthy debates and discussion about issues without wasting time on uproars, protests, and walkouts from parliament? In the last session, uh, the honorable members of parliament uh, worked over time. They put in about seven and a half hours more than what they were required to do. So I think it's a good in uh, indication. Let's go across to our next caller now. Najma Heptullah joins us online and she wants to ask you a question. Ms. Heptullah, go ahead and ask your question to Meera Kumar. Well, Meera ji is a very good friend of mine and she, uh, when she was elected as a speaker of the house, I was very happy because that was the only position left in a parliamentary democracy where India had to have a, a speaker, a lady speaker. I only I want to ask Miraji how she's finding her job. Uh, because many times people used to ask me, are you finding it difficult as a woman or is you find it easy as a woman? Uh, to me, it didn't make a difference whether I am a man or a woman as far as the job is concerned. How do you feel about it? Raji, first of all, let me express my appreciation for you having handled this job for almost 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> but coming to the question, I would say that, uh, you see, uh, when I'm on the job, I'm on the job and I don't really think that I'm a woman. Uh, but at the same time, it, uh, I feel that I'm conscious of the fact that uh, uh, there, there are many women who have put their stake and say, yes, uh, she has to perform well, otherwise we'll all be run down. Or, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of, I'm being very closely observed and assessed, That's not as a, as a speaker per se, but as a woman speaker. That's interesting because uh, yes. so many Indian women uh -huh. are watching you. But yes. so, uh, so many, ma'am, you heard the critics at that time when they said, that have you been chosen because you're Meera Kumar or because you're a woman and a Dalit woman? Does the do Congress managers think this was two pluses to appeal to various minorities? How would you respond to that? Uh, yes, that question has been asked many times over. You see, uh, gender issue is always there and it is in every society, whether the society has the caste system or not. Tubar.com. 